yes, we definitely can consider, right? But before you actually choose which to actually invest, first, again, you need to understand the businesses. Understand what is your risk appetite. Let's say I'm a low appetite investor, right? I'm looking for a steady company, maybe can give me some passive income. I want to build my retirement fund, retirement portfolio, right? So I suggest maybe you can actually take a look into Pfizer and uh, Johnson & Johnson, right? Now, why Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson? Because they are, the company is big, right? The mode is definitely there. And other than manufacturing and producing a COVID-19 vaccine, they also have lots of other drugs in the market. And of course, they also have a lot of drugs currently in the pipeline okay, waiting for FDA approval. Now, other than that, they also have a strong record of uh, dividend history. So they are paying not just consistent, but also increasing trend of uh, dividend. So for people who are actually looking for dividends, right? Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer is something that uh, you guys can consider. Now, let's say I'm a slightly risk taker, okay, that I want to actually so-called participate in a strong growth okay, of a company, then maybe you can uh, consider okay, Novavax and of course uh, Moderna. Because of COVID-19, okay, when we actually invest in these two business, we can expect a huge growth. Okay? So that's the, the risk part and of course the, the potential growth part. So in terms of the mode wise, okay, whether it's strong and sustainable wise, it is so-called uh, weaker than Pfizer and uh, Johnson & Johnson.